Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating the new Westman Atelier Holiday Gift Box. It comes with two products, the Lip Suede in Bordeaux and a new shade of the Lit Up Highlight Stick in the shade Parla. So I'm going to be doing comparisons with all of my other Westman Atelier products. I have both of the other Lip Suedes and all of the other Lit Up Highlight Sticks, so I'll have comparisons for all of those products and obviously I'm going to apply these new products to my face. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. All right, first let's just take a look at the box because the whole presentation is really gorgeous. So this is the box that it comes in. It came with this beautiful velvet ribbon around it. I'll pop in a picture of what it looked like before I took the ribbon off. And it has this tab here and you just pull it out and then you've got the products here. And there are a number of tabs in the box as well that are gonna help you to get the products out. So I'll show you the lip suede first. There's the packaging. So the shade is Bordeaux and the packaging is this beautiful Bordeaux color. And Gucci Westman said that the color of this was inspired by the car that her father picked her up in to bring her to her wedding. And she showed a picture of that in her little video on on the Westman Atelier channel. The Bordeaux with the silver around the top here. And then when we open it up, here is the product. So we've got these four beautiful shades. I'll go through the shades later. That's what they look like. And then the other part of this little set is this new lit up highlight stick in the shade Parla. And Parla is Swedish for pearl. The packaging is this gorgeous kind of like antique silver it's almost like a platinum type color i love this shade of like silvers and golds and so on this is my favorite type of shade it's almost like a warm silver and then this is the shade of the highlight stick i'll do a swatch right now so there it is it looks really beautiful it has a brightness to it that's really gorgeous Actually, while I have that swatched, let's compare it to the rest of the Lit Up Highlight Sticks. It's gonna be quite hard to see them. I think they're all pretty sheer colors, but there's Nectar right there, which is the more peachy one. And you can see that kind of pinky peach cast to that shade. And then there's Parla in the middle. And then right here, you see that kind of blue, bluish iridescent shine? That's the original shade Lit. And then here is the shade Brulee, which is obviously a whole different ball game from the rest of these colors. This is meant for deeper skin tones as a highlighter or as just kind of an overall bronzing, glowing product for more light, medium, and fair skin tones. So again, there's Brulee. There's Lit right along there. There's Parla right there, which is the most neutral of these three shades. And then here's Nectar, which is more warm tone. So we've got the warm, the neutral, and the cool. And then after you take the lip suede out, there's this little note here that says, lift tray, pouch, and sock underneath. So if you use this tab right here, and lift out this part, and then there's this beautiful envelope here that says Westman Atelier. You can really tell that this is a gift box. It would make a beautiful, beautiful gift for someone who loves Westman Atelier or for someone who you think would like these products. There's this little sticker on the envelope with the Westman Atelier logo. And then you open it up and it has this card that says the gift edition. I'll read that in a moment. And then it has the two little pouches for each of the products. So this would be for the highlight stick and this little pouch would be for the lip suede. They've changed over to these linen pouches, which I think is great. It's supposed to be a more sustainable option. So that's nice as compared to the kind of faux leather pouches that they used to have. The card here says, the gift edition. Gucci Westman introduces two new limited edition products inspired by effortless elegance with a Parisian twist. This curated edit features new lip suede in Bordeaux for a boldly wearable pop of color and new lit up highlight stick in Parla for a glassy champagne glow. Wear each Bordeaux shade alone or custom mix to amplify skin. Glide Parla over cheeks, lips, lids for instant luminosity. So today I think I'll just be putting it on my cheeks. I really want to get this highlighter on my face, so I think I'm gonna start with that. So I'm just going to take my finger in 
right into the product and just pat it on my face. Just brought in a little ring light. I don't usually use ring lights or anything, but I have one because I wanted to really show off the shine here. It's a stunning glass-like glow to the skin. It looks very natural, makes your skin look very, very healthy. And I really love this shade because it really is a neutral, really light champagne color. And I think it's gonna work for so many skin tones because it's so sheer. It's probably going to work for any skin tone and the, the color and the effect is just really, really gorgeous. Actually, I think I'll leave the ring light on. I'm liking the way it looks and the, the light from outside is really, really dark. It's a really dark gray day and it's raining, so I'm going to leave the ring light on. I'll be sure to show you swatches of the lip suede colors in natural light though but i don't think it's going to make too much of a difference because it's just a small little ring light so i just want to read a little bit about what gucci westman says about the parla shade so she says parla's glassy luminosity is subtly warm and melds with every skin tone pat onto skin anywhere the light naturally hits cheeks lips lids so she's saying it's subtly warm um, I could see that in the tube, but I think once it's on my skin, it actually looks pretty neutral. And as I said, I really love this shade. This might be my favorite of all the shades of the Lit Up stick. There's just something very refined and sophisticated about it. You can use these sticks as primers too, so you could use them under your foundation to create kind of an overall glass skin effect. So I'd be kind of curious to try that, especially with this shade, because I think it would play really nicely with my skin tone and might neutralize some of the pink tones but not make it too warm and yellowy. So I'll have to try that in the future. Sorry for the background noise, that's Eva. She's a little bit restless today. I took her seat again. She really likes to sit in the chair that I am sitting in right now. So I have to kick her out of it every time I'm filming, but she's all right. She doesn't like being held though. Okay, moving into the lip suede now. So as I mentioned, the shade is called Bordeaux and each of these shades within the little palette has a name too. And the shade names from top to bottom are Poppy, Suede, Aubergine, and Port. So I'm going to lip swatch each shade on its own, going uh, lightest to darkest. So I'm gonna start with Suede right here. Here's suede with the ring light on. And here's suede in natural light, no ring light, no artificial light. This is a beautiful shade. I really like this. It's kind of the perfect neutral nude. It's definitely leaning more toward like a brownish nude rather than a pinky nude. It's a beige nude, I guess is really what it is. That's how it pulls on me anyway. And I think it's a gorgeous color. And the formula in this lip suede is, I think much closer to, or the same as the one in the Le Rouge. It's a opaque, matte, beautiful, saturated formula. I think a lot of people were disappointed with Le Nude because it was a different formula. These ones in here are more sheer and they don't really build up to this kind of opaque level of coverage. So if you were disappointed with Le Nude, but you wanted still a nude lip suede shade from Westman Atelier, this one is gorgeous. And I think this one down here actually is going to be comparable to one of the shades in Le Nude as well. So we'll take a look at comparison swatches later, but so far I'm really loving this. And I think if you think this looks kind of too pale, um, it would pair really beautifully with a lip liner to just define the lips a little bit as well, but I'm happy with it like this too. So I'm going to take this off and then we're going to move into the port shade. Okay, so here's port with the ring light on and just as a really light stain layer. Here's port as a stain with just natural light. And here's port built up to a full opacity with the ring light. And here is port built up with just natural light. 
What a beautiful color. The finish of these is so beautiful too. There's just something really smoothing and I love that kind of blurred matte effect that these give. And the color I think is really gorgeous. It's a very flattering shade, but it's kind of unusual. I don't think I have anything that's quite like this. It's kind of like Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Muse, except it's lighter than that and a little bit more lively, I find, than that color. It's really, really special. So I'm gonna take Port off and then we'll move on to Poppy. Okay, here's Poppy as a stain with the ring light. And here's Poppy as a stain in just natural light. And here's Poppy fully built up in artificial light and in natural light. Okay, I'm gonna take Poppy off and then we'll move into the last shade right here, which is Aubergine. Here's Aubergine as a stain in artificial light. And here it is as a stain in natural light. And here's Aubergine fully saturated in artificial light. And here's Aubergine fully saturated in natural light. What a color. This reminds me a lot of Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Midnight, so I'll be curious to do a comparison with that. But overall, this palette, I'm so impressed by. This is definitely my favorite from among the three Lip Suede palettes. Um, every shade in here I think is really gorgeous. I think they're gonna play really well together. I don't think I'm gonna mix things up at all today. I'm just gonna leave this color here because I'm really enjoying the way that looks. I think you could do like a beautiful ombre with aubergine and port here. That would look stunning. You could also do a beautiful ombre with aubergine and poppy. You could do a nude ombre with suede and port that would look absolutely gorgeous. So I think there are lots of ways to play around with this and I think every single color is beautiful on its own as well. The formula is gorgeous. I prefer it to the formula of Lay Nude. Although I do like Lay Nude, it's a little bit subtle for what I'm looking for most of the time when I want to really put a beautiful lip on. So I'm so, so happy with this and really glad that you have kind of a mixture of the two other palettes. You've got a red, you've got that deeper, beautiful eggplant color, and then you've got a couple of more nude colors as well. This is gorgeous, and I think if you've had your eye on this set, both the lip suede and the highlighter are stunning. They exceed my expectations, and I had pretty high expectations, or at least high hopes for them. So I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous set, and if you're at all interested in it, I don't think you'd regret getting it at all. The word that I would use to describe this set, both the highlighter and the lip suede, is elegant and maybe sophisticated, two words. But I just think it's the most beautiful, sophisticated, and elevated and elegant set of products. And I think it's really perfect for the holiday season. And I'm really, really just blown away by the set and highly recommend it if you're interested in it at all. I found that the best way to apply these lip products was if I wanted it just as a stain to just use my finger and pat it onto the lips. And then when I wanted to build it up to a full opacity, using a lip brush worked really well because it allowed me to define my shape and really build up the product pretty easily. So here are the four shades of the Bordeaux palette all swatched. This is Poppy, Suede, Aubergine, and Port. And this is in artificial light. And here's Poppy, Suede, Aubergine, and Port in natural light. I think I'm just gonna stay in natural light for the rest of the swatches, but I just wanted to say you could also like add the red into the nude and it would create a more sort of pinky, warm toned nude. So that would be a beautiful combination too. So I've got a number of comparisons here. So the first ones I wanted to look at are these reds here. So this is Poppy from the Bordeaux Lip Suede. This is Tomato Red from Les Rouge from Westman Atelier, the red lip suede. And then this is Velvet Ribbon from Lisa Eldridge. They're all different variations of red. Tomato Red is much warmer than the other two here. And then Velvet Ribbon is pretty similar to Poppy, but I think Poppy is a little bit more leaning toward the pink side. Okay, now let's move into these more kind of purpley, darker nude tones. 
This is Velvet and Midnight from Lisa Eldridge. This is Aubergine from The Lip Suede. So those are the most similar, I think, in this little grouping here. But I think that Velvet Midnight is maybe just a little bit deeper and perhaps a touch more cool toned than Aubergine. And then down on this side, I have Brick Red from the Le Rouge set. I thought it might look kind of similar to Port here, but it's much more red and uh, Port is pulling more kind of as a more nude shade. And then down this side here, Dusty Rose from the Le Rouge Lip Suede. This, I think there might be a problem with my Le Rouge palette because the Dusty Rose shade is um, much less opaque than the other three shades in this palette and it feels a lot more like the Le Nude formula. So I don't know if that's something that other people have experienced with the Le Rouge, but I've watched some reviews and it doesn't seem that other people have that same experience with it. So it's quite a sheer version of that color, but that's how it's comparing to the rest of them. It looks kind of similar to Port, but I think Port again is just warmer and a little bit, mm, a little bit more brown actually. And then looking at the lighter nudes in the middle here, this one is Suede from the Bordeaux palette. This is Velvet Fawn from Lisa Eldridge. And this one here is from the Le Nude palette and it's the shade Mulled Wine. So I think they're all kind of in a similar family. Obviously Mulled Wine has a different, totally different formula and finish, but I do think that Velvet Fawn and Suede are pretty comparable. I think Velvet Fawn is a little bit more cool toned but they do look quite similar swatched there. Although I really do think there's a little more peach and warmth in the suede shade, which for me makes it a little bit more wearable. I love Velvet Fawn, but it does, it's not one of those just like throw on colors for me, whereas this one I think would be a little bit easier for me to pull off. I just wanted to hold up all three palettes side by side so you could just kind of get an overview of how they all look together. If there are more comparisons that you'd like to see or that I didn't do, I just realized I didn't swatch Muse against one of the shades in here. If you want to see any particular comparison swatches, let me know and I'll just um, post that on my community board. If you have any other questions or comments, please let me know below. I always love to see your comments. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.